Hi, this is Laura Hartwig with part three of my Gravity Forms tutorial series. Uh, this week we'll be talking about conditional logic and how you can make it, uh, how you can use conditional logic to make your forms appear shorter. Uh, oftentimes, if a customer is to come to your website and they see this huge form to fill out, they're just going to leave. They're not going to want to take the time to fill out the whole thing. But using conditional logic, we can make the form seem shorter. Let's take my contact form uh, for example. Now this form isn't really that long, but it'll, for the purposes of the tutorial, I'll show you how it works. So this form, uh, you see several questions right here that need to be answered. But let's go and use the Gravity Forms conditional logic setting to help, help make this form a little shorter. For instance, with this question, would you like us to contact you? If the person is going to answer no, then we don't need to know what their phone number or email or Skype. We don't need to know that. So let's go into editing this question. We're going to use the Advanced tab to go and enable conditional logic. Once we have that, we're able to choose Show or Hide if this field is All or Any um, match. So we're going to choose the question, Would you like us to contact you? If the answer is yes, then we want to show this field. Okay, so that's great. We've got that done, so let's close that. But now let's look at the next question. Phone number where you prefer to be reached. Now we don't need to know that unless you've chosen phone for this answer above. So we're going to edit this question. Again, we're going to go into the Advanced tab and enable the conditional logic. So this time we're going to show this field if all of the following match. Uh, what's the best way to reach you? and we're going to let that be phone. Only if it's phone will this question show up. So let's see how that looks. We're going to close this and we're going to use our update form, big blue button, and then we'll go back to the site where the form is, refresh the page, and you will see now the form is much shorter. So only if I answer yes to this question do I even get to choose the next answer, email, Skype, um, or phone. And you can see if I choose these, nothing happens. But if I choose the phone, then the, this one opens up so we can put in the phone number. So that's great. Now you might have noticed that when this form came on, the no was automatically selected. But this is a contact form. Maybe you want to automatically select yes. So let's see how we can do this. If we go back and edit the form, this is the question that we need to change, so we're going to edit it here. And you see this button here? We're just going to change that to Yes, so that enables that as the default value. Again, let's update the form. Go back to the site and refresh the page. And now you can see that the default answer is Yes, which is good, but that kind of gets rid of our uh, conditional logic because now this one automatically shows up. But you get the idea. So as you can see, you can use conditional logic to make a really long form seem much smaller and simpler and less uh, daunting to your customer. So be sure to use it next time you're using Gravity Forms. Again, this was Laura Hartwig. Thank you for being with us, and I hope you uh, enjoy my other tutorials. Thank you.